If you have an old PC or laptop that runs pretty slowly, you should consider turning it into an Android-based gaming system. Hey guys, before we get started, I want to thank today's sponsor, me. If you've been on the internet long, you might know about a website called Fiverr. If you don't, Fiverr is a website where anyone can go and pay a freelancer to do something for them. For instance, if you want to make a story time video like I do, it's quite simple. You just go to Fiverr and you search for it. After searching for story time animation, you'll see my gig, which happens to be the only story time animation gig on Fiverr. So if you enjoy that sort of thing and you want to make some for your own, make sure to find me on Fiverr. Thanks. Now here's the video. Okay, so let's start with what you're going to need for this project. For this project, you're going to need a USB flash drive. Um, you don't need a 3.0. I have a 2.0 and it works fine. And then you're going to want a controller. This one is meant for Android. It's wireless, but a wired Xbox or PS4 controller should work as well. After getting these things, you'll obviously need a computer that is running Windows for some of the programs we're going to be using. And then you'll need a whatever computer that you're going to be installing this system on. If it's the same computer that is downloading all this stuff, that's fine, as long as the computer runs Windows. I just want to add that this system is not permanent. You can switch between Windows and Android. So all you have to do is, during startup, plug in the USB that we'll be making today, and it'll be essentially a key. It'll switch, it'll switch to Android when the key is plugged in. So to start this video, I'm just reassembling my laptop because it had previously been taken apart almost completely for an experiment I'd been doing. So to start this whole process, get on a computer that is running Windows and download Rufus. I'll put a link for it in the description. So here we are on the page for Rufus. We're going to go ahead and download this. We need to download the image that we're going to flash onto our USB stick. So just search Android x86 32-bit or 64-bit ISO. The bit is just the definition of the screen, what your device is capable of. If it's old, it's probably a 32-bit. So I'm going to go ahead and download this file here. Alright, so when the download is finished, open Rufus and get it set up. You're going to want to go to Drives and select the USB drive that you're going to be using for this project. And then go down here and choose Free DOS. And then where it says Select, make sure to select the file that you downloaded, the ISO image. Set the target system to BIOS because we'll be setting up using your device's BIOS. Next, you can leave all of this, the rest of this stuff, it can just be set to its default settings. And when all these steps are done, just press start. When the bar is full and it says ready, you can go ahead and take out the USB flash drive. Okay, so we're going to boot up our device with the flash drive plugged in. We're going to press F12 when it comes on. And this should take us to the boot menu. And we're going to press tab to go over to the other tab here. And we're going to press setup. So now I've got to enter my password. Don't you look, you creeps. And now we're going to go over to startup. So at startup, we're going to go down to network boot. And we're going to set it to USB CD or the name of your USB, something like that. Getting into the BIOS and selecting the right option is going to be a little different for every PC. And so I'm going to select USB CD here, as you can see up above. And now we've got to save and exit. Now, if it doesn't do anything here, all you've got to do is turn off your PC. So we're just going to wait a second here. Yeah, so it's kind of stuck. So we're just going to uh, shut this off real quick. When it comes back on, just sit and wait. And if the USB is plugged in, obviously, it should take you to this screen. So you're going to want to install it to the hard drive, obviously. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and install Android x86 to hard disk and wait for all this mess to go away. 
All right, so I'm going to be selecting SDA 16 because it has 290.97 gigabytes, so obviously that's where all the storage is at. And now in this part, for some reason, I clicked FAT32. Don't do that. Don't reformat it. As you can see, I pressed no in this part anyway. Press yes on installing bootloader grub. And if it says this right here, just press yes because you do want it to install the bootloader. And yes, install this as a read write. And just wait for it to write all of the data. And now we're going to run Android x86. So this is basically finished now. Um, it will dual boot and everything like it's supposed to. If you turn it off and unplug the flash drive, it'll go back to Windows. And you will have to boot up like this every time that you want to do this. All right, so now we're at the Google Play Store. We're going to get to the fun part, kind of customizing it to be that gaming sort of look that we want. And to do the play all the games that you want, you will probably want to download games that are compatible with controllers, which there are quite a few of on the Google Play Store. But right now we are downloading the Square Launcher. So as you can see, I've already got it downloaded here. So we're going to go ahead and open this. And this is how I've customized it. It's extremely customizable. Um, just do whatever you want with it. Customize it. You can change the size of the apps and everything. And you can choose what's there and what's not. When you're done, you see you can add things with this plus as well. And when you're done, just long press on the plus, and then you're going to want to turn off editing. As you can see now, all of the editing things are gone. It looks much cleaner. And you can turn editing back on at any time by going to this the settings app of this launcher. It's not what we're doing right now. We're going to go to the settings, and I'm going to pair a Bluetooth controller so that we can control this with a controller like a true game console. You can use a wired Xbox or PS4 controllers, but I prefer this wireless controller meant for Android. Okay, so I now have this controller paired and it works great. I'll just show you on the home screen here. It can go around and it can open apps and things like that. So uh, let's just go ahead and test this on Google Play. So if I just press A on Google Play, there you go, and it opens the app, and you can press B to go back, obviously, and then as after you go back, you close the app. It works pretty well. I really like it, so just download some games that run with controller support or games that run with keyboard support if you want because it is a computer. So that's about it. I tried to keep this video short and sweet. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It would really help out the channel, and with that, I'll see you next time. Bye.